going down to Rome's happy Friday. Now there was a lot of hype around first round pick wide receiver, Jordan Addison, the pride of USC. Yes. Watch a lot of his game last year. He was dynamic for the Trojans a t- a two a year previously. He was fantastic for the Pitt Panthers. And there, there's a, a lot of reason to be optimistic about Jordan Addison uh, coming into the league. And uh, he was able to participate in rookie minicamp. He had a, a minor injury that held him out of OTAs and uh, mandatory minicamp. But the thinking was, once he reported on uh, Sunday, July 23rd, and got in there with the rookies, was going to be good to go, have himself a great training camp, and start off for a great career. But <sighs> something happened. What happened? So he was uh, pulled over and cited for driving 140 in a 55 uh, in St. Paul uh, and cited for speeding and reckless driving. And just no good. Just, just no good. Uh, and again, it's one of those things where – Bad things have happened when uh, players, well, just people in general, speed. And they put the lives of other people in danger. And yes, nothing happened this time, but it could have gone differently. But Addison, speeding, no drugs or alcohol involved, no other person involved. He's the only person in the vehicle. So, I mean, also, why why you out at 3 a.m. on a Thursday? That that whole thing. So, a couple issues, a couple questions there. And, you know, it, it did lead to... You know, a lot of questions about uh, Jordan Addison where, I mean, he hasn't played a single NFL down yet. He hasn't even been in his first training camp yet. And he's, we're starting to see some cracks, you know, potentially. And uh, I I know that a lot of Vikings fans were off put after Addison got drafted by the Vikings in the first round of him saying, let's go get paid to the uh, to Quasey uh, when he made the phone call, as well as reporters, all, all that stuff. Now, I really have no problem with that. Uh, I think it's more a generational thing. Uh, I know that uh, fans want oh, players to try diligently for the love of the game. But, I mean, Deion Sanders loved the money. And people had no problem with the work that Deion put in. Uh, and he, he's not the first. He won't be the last player that uh, is about the money and coming into the league, having a sizable amount of cash uh, for the first time in your life, you know, you're going to have a little bit of fun. And I think that's what Addison is at, at this point. And, of course, him on the gram. I mean, his his avatar is a picture of a pile of money uh, from The Simpsons. And he does live his best life. I mean, he, he's out there spending money on luxury cars, having a good time, uh, all, all that stuff. And, uh, again, if you're – you know, twenty-one year old kid who just came into you know, life changing money. Are you going to spend a little bit of it? Are you going to flaunt a little bit of it? Sure. I mean, c- certainly you are. But you know, the question is: Is there a concern about Jordan Addison? Like, is the speeding ticket and the let's get paid and all that stuff? It, it is a symptom or is a one off deal? I'm. I'm more about giving the kid the benefit of the doubt. Obviously, the speeding ticket was really stupid, and it could have ended up really horribly. And I, I do hope that he takes it to heart and is like, "Hey, let's not have this happen again." Because uh, you know, like I said in the previous video, where Jefferson or McCardle or Kevin O'Connell needs to take him aside, like, "Hey, they may that may have flied at USC or Pitt. This is the NFL. You are a professional. Need to you need to." Hold yourself to a higher level of accountability, especially in this community. You have to be a pro's pro, and let's not have this end up in a more horrific or tragic situation, right? But, uh, again, I'm going to give Addison the benefit of the doubt for now because there's no problems at Pitt or USC. Like, there's no notable off-the-field incidents or anything like that that makes you raise an eyebrow. There was no red flags in the draft evaluation either that they would have popped up. Uh, there was no drugs involved. There's no guns. You know, he doesn't have any history of, of domestic issues. So, also, there's no unrest. And I, I, I do just chalk it up as him being an immature kid at this point. Because, uh, like, like I said, imagine if you were the big man on campus, you were a first-round pick, you just got a pile of money uh, dropped in your lap, and how are you going to act? That old deal. Like, you're going to spend your money, you're going to buy fast cars, you're going to utilize fast cars, but I, I don't think that he's a bad kid. I, I don't think that he's a bad person uh, right, right now. And, you know, that they did point it out that in Minnesota, uh, if you're cited for driving 100 miles an hour plus, you can potentially lose your license for up to six months. And I think that might be the best thing for him because Kirk and Addison, they can carpool and then go over the place 
as, as they take their trip from to TCO Performance at a Bar and Grill. But I'm not ready to write them off, but it, it, it does raise an eyebrow. Like the whole you know speeding ticket thing, it, it does make you question decision making. And again, hopefully this is just an immature, stupid mistake. That won't happen again, and we won't have to talk about it. But uh, overall, I, I, I do like his attitude. Uh, I, I do like that he is upfront about getting paid, having success, winning ball games, putting up stats, all, all that stuff. Like I, I'm okay with that. But hopefully, it doesn't snowball. Like hopefully, uh, there aren't any off-field issues, and hopefully, this is just a one-off thing, and he goes on to have a great career on the field. On the field, man. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, concerned about first round pick Jordan Addison? Question mark. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Vedma. But to next time, Skull Production Value. <laughs>